Hello everybody. Today we'll be going to discuss about bronchiolitis of the kids. Uh, it is a very common um, problem, mainly in the winter time and mostly affecting less than one year. But nowadays even uh, less than two years can be affected with this. So uh, it is a cause of persistent cough, mild fever, feeding difficulty, breathing problems, all these things can be together. So as a parent, you or KRR, you have to know what are the signs you have to look for uh, when uh, maybe your child or toddler is suffering from bronchiolitis. So in case your child showing that that has blue lip and pauses in the breathing, we call apnea and irregular breathing pattern and start grunting with a noisy sound. You can see the grunting in uh, videos and can see that severe difficulties in breathing too breathless to afraid feet and become very pale mottled and feels abnormally cold to touch um, become extremely agitated confused or lethargic difficult to awake and if it is under three months temperature is 38 or above 30 de 38 degrees centigrade or above um, unless fever in the 48 hours following vaccinations or no other uh, serious signs. So in that case, you have to go to the emergency in the hospital or call 999 in NHS. But if your child has not those things, but has labored rapid breathing, working very hard, drawing the muscles below the lower limb, at their neck or in between ribs, seems dehydrated like sunken eyes, drowsy or not past urine for more than 12 hours, becoming very drowsy, excessively sleepy, seems to be getting worse or if you are very worried, you have to ring GP surgery or call NHS 111. But if there is none of these signs I have mentioned, you can self-care at home and then you can look after your child at home. So basically what you can do for that, if your child is not feeding as normal, smaller frequent uh, feed is good. Maybe some little, little ounces every hour. And uh, children with bronchiolitis may have signs of distress and discomfort. You can give a paracetamol or ibuprofen. Um, so you can do that um, according to the instruction but not very small child below three months it is better to be seen by a doctor and um, if child is already taking medicine on inhaler you can give them um, so uh, if you think you need help about the medicine you can go to pharmacist or gp uh, they can help um no tobacco use please this part period that damages uh, breathing system and if that written even in your cloth that is very difficult for them so now a bit of about bronchiolitis it is caused by viral infection um, that causes tiniest airway in your child's lung becomes swollen and it is very difficult for the children to breathe it is very common in winter month and um, only miss mostly causes mild cold like syndrome and uh, most child get better without any problem but, but i mentioned already if his breathing is very significantly deteriorated feeding is a problem you have to uh, go to hospital of course yeah you can help your child um so it's a bit Faster breathing is common, a bit no noisy breathing is, com breathing is common. Um, so basically, you have to keep an eye on that. And I mentioned to you the red flag signs or amber signs that you have to keep an eye on. And um, you have to keep an eye on how is uh, wet nappies. If it is significantly reduced, that can be the problem that is not getting sufficient feed. Now basically um these are the few tips you can you know um 
do for your child hope this will help we will come with another tips next time bye bye